Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome. And um, it's Wednesday night. It's the 29th of May. And um, I thought I'd go to a masked ball tonight. I was meant to have a football here. forgot the ball is outside. Aha, here we are. Just doing what Nicola told us. Got to wear masks. I got... Oh, it's Bob, by the way, and it's Bobcast. Um, in the green, because it's a clean clerical shirt. Dog collar usually goes inside. That's a little bit of recording to do today. Had to record the um, generic introduction to all our services, which I haven't done before. So I got on and got that done this morning, so I put the old clerical shirt on. Wearing this, wearing my mask, um, good thing to wear. I haven't worn it before. Uh, manufactured by 3M, who I used to work for. Worked for them for 10 years. And uh, I got ridiculed when I bought these. People laughed at me because um, I bought them weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Ordered them for my colleague and I to wear when we went on calls. And lots of people laughed. Well, you're not laughing now, are you? And um, I've got a few of these masks available. Well, I haven't really. I only bought 10. I wish I bought 20 or 30 now. And then I could share them with people. So, how's your day been? Mine's been pretty good. Um, got some stuff done this morning. Messed around a bit, which was nice. Had a bit of, spent a bit of time in prayer, which I enjoyed. And um, did some accountancy stuff at lunchtime. Wrote us an Excel spreadsheet. That's an exciting thing to do. Everyone mocks me for that, thinks I can't do it, but I can, um, which I was pleased about. Then I was meant to be Zooming at three. Zoom. As you know, I'm not a great Zoomer, but I've been asked by one of my colleagues to join a group to Zoom. Three o'clock came and three o'clock went and the Zoom didn't open. Um, he got tied up in another meeting, so I sort of hung around for a bit, decided I'm going to get stroppy, and then I thought, no, I'm not going to get stroppy. Um, I thought to myself... Shall I just disappear? I thought, mm, shall one just disappear? I said, that's interesting. How do you make the number one disappear? Just add a G to it, then it's gone. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite funny. And uh, so I hung around till four o'clock and then had, a, had a, good, a good hour on there. And then the excitement of the day. So just me and him on the Zoom. And there's meant to be a group of us, but uh, just, just me and him. And then the excitement of the day, I went to Sainsbury's. It's only the second time I've been to Sainsbury's um, since lockdown started. Been to Little twice, now I've been to Sainsbury's. Bought some milk, bought some chocolate, and I know I shouldn't, bought some donuts. Five for 40p, because they were just going out of date. Nom, 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 nom. I've still got a plate with some jam on it. They call it jam, I have to say it wasn't very really jammy. It wasn't, it wasn't brilliant, brilliant at all. But anyhow, donuts were nice. Do you know a song with donuts in it? Donuts forsake me, oh my darling, for this will be a jammy day. Do not forsake me, oh my darling, we'll have a sugary ring and go away. I think that's all the donut jokes I can do today, sprinkled with hundreds and thousands, however you like them. Do you like jam donuts? Do you like sugar ring donuts? Mmm, that's a bit of a question, isn't it? For whom the bell tolls. So, lots of exciting, lots of exciting things. Um, had a massive reaction to the Pam Ayres um, poetry yesterday. Oh, by the way, what do you call an alligator with GPS? An alligator with GPS. Um, that's a navigator, of course. Um, had lots of reaction to to Pam Ayres and um, people saying, oh, could you do some more of that? One or two people have sent me poems. I love this one that was sent to me. Um, and I think this was just after Mr. Trump. It was quite a recent one. It said, at last we have a cure for all, ailments large and ailments small. Good health is not beyond my reach if I inject myself with bleach. Radiant, I'll prance along, every trace of lime scale gone, with disinfectant as my friend. Like him, I'm clean around the bend. 
There may be some political views in there which are not necessarily the views of the person speaking them. And of course, other things are available and do not try the injections at home. Excuse me a second. Isla, would you stop snoring, please? Thank you. Thank you. So, well, things going on in the news, debates about whether schools should reopen, how they should reopen, fast or slow. Um, a lot of people going out... Yeah, and lots of people on the streets and groups begin to walk past the house. Talking of our street, well, fame at last. On the BBC Scotland channel tonight, um, Scotland's Best Houses. It was the Borders Regional Final. And the house just up the road from us in Forest Field won. Beautifully done. And um, not going to mention any names, but the daughter of one of our, our parishioners, a member of our congregation, made a fabulous job at the old schoolhouse in, uh, in Forest Field in Kelso. So that was really nice. The other two houses were good. I could live on the first one on the beach, I have to say. So if, they want, if anyone wants to just buy me that and say, there you are, Bob, there's a wee prezi for you. I would be absolutely quite delighted about that. Um, in fact, I'd be very, I'd be very pleased, very pleased indeed. Um, someone sent me some put downs, and I thought these are rather good. You know, sort of, it was when, um, when the English language was, you know, when insults had class. This was, this was called, and um, just some of the things I'm going to use them over the next three or four days. So I'll just share with one of you. Member of Parliament to Disraeli. Sir, you will either die on the gallows or of some unspeakable disease. Said Disraeli, that depends, sir, on whether I embrace your policies or your mistress. <laughs> I, thought was quite, I thought it was quite funny. A man called Walter Clare Kerr said, he had delusions of adequacy. One of the ones I loved about put downs, um, and I've used it so many times. Um, Dr. Richard Gordon from the Richard Gordon, the, the Doctor books, Doctor in the House, and all those things, they made me laugh. And um, Dr. Richard Gordon, at the end of his first year as a houseman, was uh, looking for a reference from his boss, Sir Lancelot Spratt. Uh, some of you will remember the Sir Lancelot Spratt played on the movie by James Robertson Justice. Big man, big beard, big silver beard, and frightfully grand. Anyhow, Richard Gordon was given his reference, and when he opened it, Sir Lancelot Spratt had read this. Dr. Richard Gordon has worked for me for the past 12 months, entirely to his own satisfaction. <laughs> I think that's absolutely perfect. Winston Churchill said of somebody, he has all the virtues I dislike and none of the vices I admire. And if you've got any of these put down, send them to me here, uh, retrokelso at gmail.com or on my Facebook page, and I would be delighted to hear them. Okay, so there's various um, poems around. There's one that's been, um, well, Pamela says she didn't write it. Um, but it's in her style. So how am I doing for time? Yeah, I'm going to use that one because I've got another longer one which I'll do tomorrow. And I also promise you some rolled dial so that could be the night after. So here we go. I'm normally a social girl. I love to meet my mates. But lately with the virus here, we can't go out of the gates. You see, we're the oldies now. We need to stay inside. They haven't seen us for a while. They think we've upped and died. They'll never know the things we did before we got this old. There wasn't any Facebook, so not everything was told. We may seem sweet old ladies who would never be uncouth. But we grew up in the 60s, if you only know the truth. There was sex and drugs and rock and roll, the pill and miniskirts. We smoked, we drank, we parted. We were quite outrageous flirts. Then we settled down and got married and turned into someone's mum, someone's wife, then Nana. Who on earth did we become? 
We didn't mind the change of pace because our lives were full. But to bury us before we're dead is like a red rag to a bull. So if you find me stuck inside for four weeks, maybe more, I finally found myself again, then I had to close the door. It didn't really bother me. I'd while away the hour. I'd bake for all the family, but now I've got no bloody flour. Now Netflix is just wonderful. I like a gutsy thriller. I'm swooning over Idris or some random sexy killer. At least I've found the stash of booze for when I'm being idle. There's wine and whiskey, even gin, if I'm feeling suicidal. So let's drink to lockdown, to recovery and health, and hope this bloody virus doesn't decimate our wealth. We'll all get through the crisis. We'll be back to join our mates. Just hoping I'm not far too wide to flip, fit through the flame, flaming gates. Thank you for that. And uh, that's in the style, of course, of, um, of Pam Ayres, but it wasn't Pam Ayres herself. So she says, so she says. So, uh, but you just never, you never really know, do you? And uh, just got, got to hope for the best, really. Um, I've had someone ring me and said, we didn't get the justice joke. It's best to write this down, but justice is a dish best served cold. Because if it were served hot, it would be just ice. Sorry, just water. Just water. Just ice. I've given you a clue there. It would be just water. Oh, idiot. That becomes when you edit stuff on your screen. And uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing it. So, uh, so there we are. A couple of bits of poetry. Bit of a change. Bobcast is always evolving because it may have another four weeks to go and uh, that's quite a long time really. So poetry, I'm delighted if you send it to me. Uh, I've got two or three for the next few days. Um, funny ones, please, I don't want to get too heavy. Half a league, half a league, half a league onward into the valley of death road, the, well, you know, the 500. And uh, that's the charge of the light brigade, by the way, which I thought was something to do with electricity bills. But, uh, but may, maybe not. So for all of you who are feeling good, I'm pleased you're feeling good. For those of you who've got your Asda slots, I'm pleased you've got your Asda slots. That's not a gaming machine though, love. You're not putting 10p a time in, okay? It's a different type of slot, none of your Las Vegas slots here. And uh, for those who are a bit poorly, our thoughts and our prayers are with you. There's one or two people. For those who are getting a bit of an unfair hard time on Facebook, just remember how special you are, how loved you are, and uh, what a gift to your diocese you are. So, I think that's about my gossip for the day. I'm going to leave. Will this clean shirt see another day? This green clean shirt is a clean, clean machine? Or should it be in the green cleaning machining? I don't know. I think we'll live with that. Oh, on the back there... Um, there's a rosette. I'll leave it there till tomorrow because I've forgotten to talk about it. But it was a rosette that I was given when I was asked to speak at the Whitman's Ride a few years ago. Anyhow, I've run out of time. Watch thou, dear Lord, with all those who wake or watch or weep tonight. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Lord. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones, soothe your suffering ones, pity your afflicted ones, and shield your joyous ones, all for your love's sake. Amen. A wee bit over time tonight, but there we are, part of life. Take care, see you tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, and the day after that's Friday. Good grief, it's Friday. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Take care. See ya.